Hello, I'm Steve. Thanks for visiting the Patio Heat channel where we provide visual concepts of infrared heating as well as tips for ideal patio comfort. Check out our patioheat.com website for sales and more information. Please tap that like button if you find this video useful as it helps others find our channel. Now let's get heating. All right, so this is going to be a really brief um, discussion on this particular application. So essentially we have 26, 20 foot 6 and a half inch by 11 feet 6 inch and we have a, a partial ceiling height here of um, 7.3 and then it goes up here to 9 feet off the floor. There's a door that swings out and the uh, request came from a person who wanted to just heat up this section over here. They had mentioned a um, area, I think it was something of um, yeah, 10 by 13, so this would be 13 feet wide this way, 10 feet deep. And um, they do have this awning and this door that comes out. And anything else I want to speak of? I think that's about it. So this um, model I have here is six foot tall. I'm going to turn off this blue zone here. That's the zone they wanted to heat up. And I'm assuming there's a, just a dining table. There could be a sofa and chairs here as well. Um, but mainly what I want to say is the only real location you could mount a heater on an application like this, and I'm not sure if these are full walls or if this is a full glass area here, couldn't quite make that out on the uh, information I received, but that's still irrelevant, I think. Um, they said that this is on a hillside, so they do have a breeze that comes up, but it's only about five kilometers an hour, so I think that's around three miles per hour, somewhere in that nature. And they wanted to heat up area during the coldest times of the year. I'm not quite sure where this application really is. So my only option, however, is to put a 6,000 watt heater here in order to eat, you know, heat up this area. Now I probably would not put a 6,000 watt unit at seven feet off the ground if I was sitting right here, but the only way I can get a ray to stretch far enough and make this area here a little bit more comfortable is by putting a higher intensity heater up in this space right here. So um, I think that's gonna end up being just under seven feet off the floor, or just over seven feet. The doorway here is seven off the ground. And you can see I have about two or three inches. So it might be at the same elevation as this right here. But the main important thing is, is that when you wall mount a heater it needs to have 12 inches of clearance above the heater to the ceiling area so that's where one of the limitations comes into play on a wall mount like this the um, heater itself is at 60 degree angle and you could go a little bit you know less to say from out this way down maybe even 55 degrees and still capture some of this area over here but again um, you'd want to have this on some kind of duplex switch or um, control system because this would be probably too intense right here most of the time and if that's where you're uh, mostly going to sit on this side over here then you want something that's a little bit dimmer than that you might even go to a 4000 watt unit and not worry about heating up this space over here at all so just bear that in mind they uh, did ask about um, power being either gas or electric they said they had a 120 this is a 240 system 240 system is the only type of electrical heater that you're going to be able to adequately heat up any outdoor space so just bear that in mind it needs to be a 240 system and this particular model 6000 watt at 240 is uh, uh, 25 amps at 240 so keep that in mind if you wanted to put a gas heater here i really don't see how you can um, you would have to put say like a 25,000 BTU heater here and it requires a minimum of 9 inches of clearance um, when pointed straight down to the ground. If you put it on a wall similar to this then it requires um, 14 inches of clearance at a 30 degree maximum tilt and um, that would the heater itself is 8 by 8 so it's a bigger um, footprint than this side profile here and 8x8 eight eight would really go into the window section down here below so that's why I would not put a uh, gas uh, heater in this location. Alright well I hope this has helped and if you're looking for some assistance with your outdoor heating application and would you like 
you would like to have us review your plans, please send your information into designs at patioheat.com. I'm Steve, and again, please tap the like button. We do not advertise, we're not monetized. Therapy YouTube does not promote our channel unless we receive your thumbs up. Thank you very much. Have a great day.